just for my phone so I'm just... okay we missed only one question if you have started watching now but uh, we'll go to second question question Pranjit. Lao Lao is a Polynesian dish consisting of cooked blank leaves containing fillings such as pork, fish, or coconut cream. What crop is this? A root vegetable with the name borrowed from the Maori language when Captain Cook first observed these plantations in New Zealand in 1769. Mm -hmm. No, spinach. Not that, Akshay? Yes. Then? Curry leaves? It's not curry leaves. Shashwat? Pass. Passes. Anything else? These are called taro leaves. Question for Akshay. Mount Wilhelm in Papua New Guinea is the second highest mountain in Oceania. It was named in 1888 when a German newspaper correspondent, Hugo Zoller, climbed the Finister Range and named the four highest peaks Ottoburg, Herbertburg, Marienburg, and Wilhelmburg. Why were these four names chosen or who are these four people? I think Akshay will like this question. Uh, they were the the previous four rulers of Germany in Bismarck, blah blah. Not that. Chasot? I had the same case. Pass. Pass, Panju. Pass. Pass is there. No. Answer. Pass. Passes. Um, you're on the right track. They are honoring loyalty. He is honoring loyalty, but they're not uh, rulers. Uh, and it is Kaiser? Related, it is related to Bismarck only. They're the children of Bismarck. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a bit extreme, but nice wonder. Uh -huh. yeah. Question for Akshay. Jerry Tuai is the most successful Olympian from which country? This country won the men's rugby sevens gold medal in 2016 and 20 Olympics and the women's bronze medal in the same sport in 2020. PG. PG, right. Question for Naran, no? At a height of 6,893, Oyos del Salado is the second highest mountain in South America. It is located on a high plateau on the border of Chile and Argentina called Puna de Blanc. Fill in the blank with the name of a geographical feature in South America. Um, geographical feature. Is it the Atacama Desert? It is the uh, Puna de Atacama. Okay. Well done. I'm showing you the desert here. Question for that. One of the six provinces on this island, which is the most populous country subdivision in the southern hemisphere with its capital at Bandung. Bandung is the Indonesia. Mm, Sumatra? Not Sumatra. Good guess though. Sasu? Yes. Pass it, Sanjay. Java. I will prompt you. Okay. Uh, the Eastern Java. That's not that, Akshay. Okay. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> I'm glad you passed. I would have been very annoyed if you got this because it's not Eastern Java. What is it? Western, Western Java. Western, Western Java. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should <Sure. laughs> Question for Shaswat. What is the largest province in Bolivia? It has a two-word name, the same as an area in Mumbai where a transport hub is located.
Nariman point. Um, it's not bad. Okay. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, right. Abhishek is in the waiting room. Doesn't he want to play? I think maybe he joined. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Abhishek Sometimes here. I joined by mistake because mobile may click on that. Then we'll just hide the answer. One second. Okay, good. Well, Abhishek, if you're uh, watching, maybe don't watch. Question for Shadur. Uh, blank is the largest city and the capital of a modern country in Southern Africa. In 1965, it was built from scratch as the capital of the then Besh Beshona, Beshona land, Dr. Uh, which gained its independence from the British. Which city? Ten seconds. Uh, Ugadugu. Not that. Tanjur. Gaborone. Yes, Gaborone is right. Botswana. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Botswana. Nice, nice. City in the capital of a modern country. Which country? Botswana. 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 Oh. Okay. Question for Tanjur. Mount Kenya is the second highest peak in Africa after Mount Kilimanjaro. The administrative subdivisions of Kenya have been drawn such that the summit of Mount Kenya is the intersection of Embu, Laikipia, uh, Kirinyaga, Nyeri, Tharaka Neti, and which other country? This county. Which This county incidentally has the same name as a mountain from Hindu mythology. Meru. Lovely, very nice. Question for Andrew. J. M. Kodzi became the second South African in 2003 to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. He is also twice winner of the Booker Prize, winning in 1983 for Life and Times of Michael K. and in 1999 for Disgrace. However, in 2006, Kodzi did something which is not uncommon for many South Afri white South Africans and has been done by many cricketers of South African origin. What did he do? He changed his nationality from South African to. Yeah, I can stop you right there and just give you points. So <laughs> if you are giving me a country, then that may have gone anywhere. But change citizenship is enough. He actually became okay. an Australian citizen, not a British citizen. Oh, yeah, glad you Fortunately, I interrupted you, so it's all good. Yeah. Question for Uh African diaspora religions are spiritual or religious practices that have been that have taken root in many Caribbean and Latin American nations due to in. In, in migration from Africa. Uh, which African diaspora religion uses the flag of the Ethiopian royal standard as used by Haley Selassie as its official symbolism? Taking birth in Jamaica in the 1930s, the new religious movement has several denominations called mansions, some of which include the Bobo Ashanti and 12 tribes of Israel. That's yes, correct. It's a very complicated question. No? <laughs> Some comes down to Rastafari. Question for Akshay. Which is the largest province by area in Angola? It is located in the eastern part of the country and its name is the same as the country in North America with one vowel changed to another vowel. I'm going to give everybody a free guess at this, take okay? No, no, your bonus attempt doesn't count for this. Everybody take a shot. Okay. Um, uh, Hinduras. Okay, not bad. That's what? Can I do? Very nice, but not that, man. I just know 
ஆஸ்திரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியா <laughs> What is his nickname which puns on his name and his self propelled underwater device torpedo torpedo is right question for now the many stars on the flag of brazil make it one of the most complicated flags in the world to construct what do the 27 stars on the flag of brazil represent also what is the symbolism of star number 4 being above the white band I know the 27 stars are those 26 states and the one federal district. So I'll go with the fourth one is the federal district. Okay. So I'm right. Just what? Pass. Pass, Dr. Shep. Yeah, I'll say the same 26 states and federal districts and only one is above the equator, which is the... It is represented by alternate factors. One state, that is Spica, it is the only uh, state wholly in the Northern Hemisphere. Nicely done. Question for Shaswat. This crop is originally from South America, but was a staple of Polynesian cuisine long before the Colombian exchange. It was introduced on Easter Island sometime between 1200 to 1300 AD. It has been hypothesized that this introduction may have led to the deforestation of Eastern Island, as burnt palm forest was a source of nutrients necessary for its growth in nutrient-poor soil. Which crop? maize uh, it's not maize yes i don't know maybe i'll say just answer no no idea pass first one is pass first option sweet potato sweet potato right yes sir question is just what There are two literature Nobel laureates from Chile, both incidentally known for their poetry. If one is Pablo Neruda, who is the other? She was born Lucila Goroy Alcayaga, Alcayaga, but is better known as Gabriela Blank, her pseudonym. The same name as a cold dry wind, which blows from north to south in the Iron Valley in France. Gabriela Mistral. That's correct. Question, Roger. Blank. penguin is a medium sized penguin with a range consisting of coastal peru and southwards along the coast the penguin and the cold water current that it swims swims in both have the same name after whom the most number of species in the world have been named penguin Ten seconds. Humboldt. Humboldt, right? Well done. Question for Sanjay. Pictured in the is the map of an island in South Pacific, which was designated a UNESCO WHS in 1995. Which island need the two-word name in the indigenous language Pasquan, which is an Eastern Polynesian language, isolate and not the English name. You can make this bigger if you like. Yeah, that would help. Okay, I'm going to go back in five, four, three, two, one. Panja. Two or three. I will need to pass. V T Lebu. Not that. Pass. Pass. And looks like the Easter Island. Is it now? I can prompt you. Mm-hmm. 
ಅಬುಜಾ <laughs> It was also called the chief village in a nation of villages. However, much of the government offices continue to remain in the earlier capital on the coast, which continues to be the commercial hub of this country. Which de jure capital city is this? Is this the capital of uh, Tanzania? The, You're asking like, the wrong person. I do not know the capital of Tanzania. This is uh, Dodoma. I don't know where that is. This is the capital of Tanzania. This yes. is the capital of Tanzania. Yeah, that's... Uh... Nice. Question for Akshay. Which player from the Southern Hemisphere is ranked third in the list of most catches in tests in non-wicket-keeping position after Dravid and Javadne? you would also find this player in the top 3 of most 50 plus scores in tests ricky ponting not ricky ponting good guess so uh, markwa not markwa eh yeah. jack callis it is jack callis yeah that is one of them What is the name of the statues on Easter Island? Uh, Moai. Moai. Moai statues. Question for that. The earliest scientific description of this penguin was made by Johann Reinfeldt Foster, a naturalist on James Cook's second Pacific voyage. It is named after, a, after an old Anglo-Indian term to distinguish Hindus from Muslims, presumably because the white band on the head resembled a turban. What name? Ten seconds. You know. We will pass you, Shaswat. Pagri? Not Pagri. Kanjal? Gentoo? Gentoo is right. Well done. Yeah. Nice. What is the turban in Honda? Like, it is, it, what does it mean? Gentoo sounds like Hindu, right? So I think that is where it oh, okay, came from. Yeah, okay. Question for Nan. Kapan Nan is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in South America, which runs through Colum- Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Chile, um, Bolivia, and Argentina. It was primarily used by Chasquis, who rested at Tambos. What is the two-word name by which Kapan Nan is better known? Also the name of a song by Frank Zappa. Is 
this this is called inka roads or inka highways okay. is there a friends app or song called i know i don't know or is that your guess on the nayan said i know i don't know i wasn't sure if that is a song <laughs> or if he was just saying that he didn't know i i thought it might be a song question for asur uh this mountain the second highest on antarctica was discovered in january 1958 during reconnaissance flights by the us navy wx6 squadron and mapped later that month by marie bird land travers party the mountain was named for the rear admiral who was commander of the us naval support force which mountain oh was this there in your gadget mastermind set by any chance uh i i haven't seen the geography set the mastermind set yes um tanjal Vincent, Vincent Massive. Not that. Eh? Vincent is the tallest one. Uh, this is. Ah, uh... no, pass. Okay. Pass. Is it Hopper? It's not Hopper. I, I'm again. Uh-huh. I can't really contribute here. It's Mount Terry. Terry. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I I just confused your mastermind with Vikas. Vikas, yeah, yeah. No, I I understood. <laughs> I understood, but I still haven't seen it. I haven't seen the job. Ah, then I figured out. Was this mountain there? Ah, it was in there. Okay. No, okay. Question for Sasol. Ah, uh, the picture shows the constituent parts of the Australian flag. Name the bottom two components of the flag in this picture. The one on the left is a collection of heavenly bodies, and the one on the right represents a group. Two two word names are needed. I would like you to know that I would have gotten this. Very proud of this. Uh, Southern Cross and Aboriginal people. Good guess, but not bad, man. अरे अपना सदन क्रॉस एंड ये डी कॉमनवेल्थ स्टार इस करेक्ट नेक्स्ट लेवल क्वेश्चन फॉर आंचल इन ट्रिनिडाद एंड टोबैगो व्हाट यूरोपा इंस्पायर्ड म्यूजिक सेंटर्ड अफ्रीकन डायस्पोरा रिलिजन हैज टेकन रूट इन विच कलेक्टिव सिंगिंग एंड ड्रमिंग अ कंपनी स्पिरिट पोजेशन एंड एनिमल सैक्रिफाइस ऑफन कॉल्ड डी � चार डैम और चार दम व्हाट व्हाट इज़ इट चार धाम चार चार धाम ओके ऐसे चार डैम दैट्स हाउ आई वुड हैव प्रोनाउंस्ड एंड देन देन पिलग्रिम में जा गया तो आई थॉट ओके माइट बी समथिंग एल्स इट डजन हैव टू बी डैम इट इज़ दस फोर शिवलिंग्स इन फोर डायरेक्शंस ये एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय आदि शंकर And second, Odisha. Say again, Odisha. please. Odisha, Odisha. Odisha, right? Also taking Shango. Question for Pranjal. Chad Lickloss is the most successful Olympian from South Africa with one gold and three silver medals. His gold was a memorable win over Michael Phelps in London 2012. In which event? He was trailing Phelps and another swimmer at the third and final turn. For swimming, an astonishing final lap to win the race. Need distance and type of stroke both. Two hundred meters butterfly. Is correct. Well done. Do you follow swimming? Okay. Yeah. So I know that Chad Lucas uh, one in butterfly and three three turns would be two hundred meters. So yeah. Ah. Okay. Lovely. Wow. <laughs> question for question for Akshay. Uh, the the cridium cup. Cupressinum, and commonly known as Remo, is a large evergreen coniferous tree endemic to the forests of New Zealand. The Maoris give this name to the tree because its foliage reminded them of a food limo, which is eaten across Oceania and other islands in the Pacific. What food is limo? Second. 
in answer wales not wales that's what pass pass man pass mm -hmm. kind of tree foliage um seaweed seaweed is right question for akshay this is the flag of palu adopted on the 1st of jan 1981 when the island group separated from the un trust territory the flag is conceptually similar to the flag of two other countries name them also there is one difference between the flags of the two other countries and the flag of palu what is the difference so here two countries in a difference i think let me check i'll say yep. the two countries are bangladesh and japan and the difference is uh... Bangladesh and Japan have red circles. This has a yellow circle. Now hold on, because PDF may the text got truncated, so I'm going to have to open the TSV and see. I know. I think I know the similarity concept, but I don't know. Oh yeah, the the two countries are correct. The, it is Bangladesh and Japan then. Right. Let's see. Is it off centered? Yeah, it's off centered because it appears oh. in the center when it flies, basically. No, it symbolizes the moon, whereas in the other two, the dis symbolizes the sun. Is that what you said? I didn't say that, so you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving yeah, it to you. Yeah, कहाँ से लाऊँगा मैं? Giving it to you for Bangladesh. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. What to do now? Can't fix this. Could you let me check the CSVR? What is this confidence? Okay. I, I didn't. अरे second part के लिए I just made a random guess. अच्छा अच्छा. Okay. Um, no, I thought you were saying you knew that one. Um, no, I said I knew the first. Part. Okay, 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 okay. Symbolizes the moon, whereas in the other two, it symbolizes the sun. Okay, good to know. Don't pronounce on part correct answer. Oh shit! I will give you a fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll apologize to him later. Uh, question for Nand. Uh, Queen Maudland is is the part the part of Antarctica between twenty degrees west and forty five degrees west, and makes up about one fifth of the continent. It is named after Maud of Wales, who the daughter of the then Prince of Wales and eventual King of UK, uh, Edward the Seventh. Oh, okay. Uh, she married King Hakon the Seventh and became queen. Which country's territorial claim in, in, is Queen Maudland, a country not of, unfamiliar to polar expeditions? Norway. Ah, uh, sorry. Yep, right. Give me a second. I'll just note down some correction. They have a quite huge chunk which they claim over in, in Antarctica. So that's the one thing I guess. Salut, ठीक है. Yeah, sorry, I was just noting down the flag thing. Ah, uh, question for you. Nusantara, the the new proposed capital of Indonesia, is to be inaugurated in twenty twenty four. The name Nusantara was chosen to embody the national vision known as Awawasan Nusantara. Where, if if that translates to vision, what does Nusantara mean? Which defines the geographical makeup of Indonesia. Looking for a specific two word term legally defined by the UN. The Bahamas, Fiji. PNG, Philippines, and Indonesia are qualified as this kind of country. No idea. Pass. Pass. Shashwat. Uh, pass. Pass. Kanjal. Pass. Sorry. Okay. Pass. Something like island, some island group. Kind. Yeah. So, so these are yeah, islands. Like basically, submerging or something. About to submerge. Arch. Oh, it is Arch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I thought of it. I'm not sure. Apparently, do not accept island nation. Uh, only, only these countries are legally Arch. Like go. Every time it comes up, because I have to say this word a lot, and like it is proportionately, uh, frequently occurring in quizzes. How do you say it? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Arch? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Is it Arch? Okay, okay, thank you. Because it keeps fucking coming because then I never know. I always get conscious. Yeah. Question for Shashwat. Uh, the list of top ten uh, wicket takers in a test career has uh, four bowlers from the Southern Hemisphere as of February twenty twenty three. If Shane Warne is one, who are the other three? Oh shit, you have to name three people now. In reference, <laughs> uh, Kapil Dev is eleventh on the overall list, four hundred and thirty four. I love the reference bit, man. Shit. Yeah. Uh, three bowlers: Magrath, Hadley, and uh, Dennis Lilly. Not those three. I will wait. Just make it easier. You got one of those three, right? Yeah. 
Pranjal, you get to try now. I know which one is right, but I, I don't think I'll get it. Can we do free guess on this one? Yeah, free guess, sir. Free guess on this one, Pranjal. Okay. Uh, so, Madra is definitely one. Hadley is definitely not. Uh, hey, don't, don't, definitely... don't take up time, no? Give me three answers. Don't tell me what they're oh. not. Okay. Madra, Callis, Vettori. You get one out of three. Uh, pass to action. Okay, I I'll say McGrath, Courtney okay. Walsh, and Dale Stain. You get two out of three. Nan. Oh my God. Thank you. This list I saw today. Oh. Because today's test match is Border Gavaskar Trophy, and Shami became another Indian wicket taker, like with four hundred international wickets. So, at that time, I was watching all the top 10. So, here it is basically Nathan Lyon, uh, ye apna, then what do we say? Dale Stain and Glenn McGrath. Yep, that's right. Uh, Glenn McGrath, Nathan Lyon and Dale Stain. Very nicely done. Those are the three people. West Indies, I think it's still uh, Northern Hemisphere. So, uh -huh. Walsh, Walsh. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, clever. Oh, yeah, that's why I, yeah, I thought of Nathan N, but I thought Courtney Walsh was from the South. See, West Indies, I didn't think it was okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like that. Question for Shasa. Uh, Lisa Carrington is the most successful Olympian from New Zealand. She has won five gold medals and one bronze medal in the London, Rio and Tokyo Olympics. All the medals have come in the K2 and K1 events of different distances. What palindromic word does K stand? Kayak. Uh, one second, sorry. It is a kayak, yeah. Uh, how many rounds did that happen? I thought this was a half minute. Oh, is it? Uh, let me just check. It's six rounds, actually. Six I mean, 48 questions. Okay, six rounds. Yes, six rounds. Six rounds. Okay, question for Pranjal. The blank, blank, blank is the national emblem of Argentina and Uruguay and can be seen on the flags of both countries. The name refers to a heavenly body and a week in the winter of 1810, which marked the beginning of the revolution against the Spanish Empire in the then Viceroyalty of Rio de la Plata. A legend claims that as the new government was proclaimed, the blank, same as first blank, broke through the clouds, which was seen as a good omen. Fill in the blanks. I can't get both. I, I know one, so I'll pass. 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 Okay. Pass. No. Uh, it is son of something, but son of what? I don't know. Pass. Son of Vic. You can guess though. No. You want to guess? No, I don't have anything. Okay. Pass it. Is it son of victory? It's not son of so, there so three, It should be three words, something. Yeah, three Spanish letters. could be three letters. And it refers to a week in the winter of 1810. Um, yeah, oh. do you wanna just do you wanna just fill in the blacks? You, you're probably going to end up getting oh, it in May. Is it May? Is it May? May, May is May. right, yeah. Yeah. I could tell that Nayan was eventually going to work his way to the answer. Okay, question for Sanjay. And the Ross Dependency is a region of Antarctica between 160 degrees east and 150 degrees west. It takes its name from Sir James Ross, who discovered the Ross Sea and the Ross Ice Shelf. In 1923, the British government passed an order in council under the British Settlements Act in 1887, which defined the borders and handed over the administration of the area to a Commonwealth nation, which present-day countries claim is the Ross Dependency. Five seconds. Uh, Canada. Uh, not that. Shashat. 
Pass. Okay. New Zealand. New Zealand is right. Or Australia. So, it is New Zealand. Question for Akshay. Uluru Kata Jutu National Park is the UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Northern Territory of Australia. Both hills are considered sacred by the local Anangu Aborig Aboriginals. Aborigines. Kata Juta is a series of 36 domed rock formations 25 kilometers to the east of Uluru. What does Kata Juta translate to in the local Anangu language? A two-word term used to describe Brahma, the creator god, and a demon king, both from Hindu mythology. So, uh, uh, just to clarify, because I found the question confusing. So, I, they're asking you what this term means in the local language. The, the meaning is the same as a term that would that would be used to describe Brahma and a demon king from Hindu mythology. Four-headed? Ah, uh, YouTube. It's a uh, multi-headed. So, uh, 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 Ravana. The, Ravan would be uh, would be ten heads. So, multi-headed is right. Uh, since it's uh, a hill that looks like that, it's a multi-headed hill. That's the answer. Question for Akshay. Um, that guy is the two thousand and eight Nobel Prize winner in literature who writes in French. He holds a dual citizenship of France and which other country in the Southern Hemisphere? His father was born in this country, which was a French possession, but passed into British control and is now an independent country with close ties to India. Mauritius. Mauritius is right. Well done. Question for Nan. Ota Ika is the national dish of Tonga and consists of blank blank marinated in citrus juice and coconut milk. What is the main ingredient of Ota Ika? The dish is known as poison crew in French Polynesia. Duck. It's not duck. Good guess, though. Chasa. Yes. Angel. Fish. Like raw fish. fish. Raw, raw fish is right. Well done. It's yes. raw fish since it's marinated in citrus juice and coconut milk. Um, and like many cultures, it is raw fish. Yeah? Question for now. Evolving around deities called Oricha. Which African diaspora religion has ballooned in Cuba, drawing from elements of Roman Catholicism, Spiritism, and Yoruba? Meaning the way of saints, the Spanish term for Yoruba people, called Lukumi, is another term used for this. Reggaeton? I guess we got that. Just one. Pass. Anjur? Pass. Akshay? Pass. Pass is? San Via. Something. You're quite close. You're not far off. You got the first three letters right. It's uh, it's Santeria. Santeria. Question for... Uh, it means way of saints. Huh? So, Sant, but I don't know area. Okay. Question for Shashwat. Blank is a pre-Columbian archaeological site and a UNESCO World Heritage Site near Lake Titicaca in Western Bolivia. The Blank civilization was one of the most advanced Andean civilizations which lasted from 600 to 1080 and predated the Inca Empire. The site contains many decorated ceramics, megalithic blocks, and monumental structures known as, known as the Gate of the Sun. Which civilization? Uh, Olmec? Uh, not that. Good guess. Pranjal? Pass. Pass. Raksha? Nazca. Not that. And? Pass. Pass. I was also thinking Nazca. Uh, it's a new word to me. It's Tiva Naku. It's one of the largest sites in South America. Currently over 4 square kilometers. <laughs> 
there's nothing nothing particularly for me here okay questions for us the blank penguin is a south american penguin breeding in coastal patagonia including argentina chile and the falkland islands it shares its name with two fuzzy galaxies visible in this pic which penguin One second. Andromeda. Uh, not that. Not it. Ash. Ash. Magellan. Yes, that's right. Can you explain that to me? I don't understand it. Uh, large Magellanic cloud is a galaxy that I. Oh, right. The only. Oh. And probably some others. In oh. And Magellan was in these places. Is there a small Magellanic cloud? Yes, there is. There is. There oh, there are is? Two types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are two types of irregular galaxies. One like Magellanic clouds, so large and small. It's a. Arey wa, look at that. Large and small. Lovely. Large and small. Yes. Yeah. Question two hundred. Uh, which former batsman from South Amer from the Southern Hemisphere holds the joint record for the most sixes in a Test career at one o seven? It is befitting that under his coaching, a current player has recently equaled this record. Ten seconds. Ricky Ponting. How that? Trust me. Yes. Then. Callus. Not Callus. Okay. Uh, I'll pass. Passes. Guesses. Chris Gale, but I'm not sure. Is it Gary Cost? It's not Gary Kirsten. It's it is a familiar name to me, and I don't really follow ABD. it. ABD. Not ABD. It is Brendan McCullum. Ah. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I was I, I saw I read the question and says recently equaled his record, and my first thought was if it's recently equaled, then Abtoki must have must have crossed it. Then he realized it's text created. It could happen months from now for all I know. <laughs> okay. Question for Franjit. Uh, this state is the second largest country subdivision by area. In the world, and accounts for thirty-three percent of the land area of a particular country in the southern hemisphere. It is also the largest iron ore producing region in the world, and has the motto "Cygnus in Cygnus," which means bearing the sign of a swan. Which state? Western Australia. Very nicely done. This is Western Australia. What's the swan thing? I think Perth. Perth is, is associated with yeah. swans. Yeah, oh, they, oh. there was a some quad in a previous quiz in which this was there. Oh, very nice. The Perth swan thing. I hadn't noticed, but we already entered the last round. Um, as it stands, Akshay had the tiny has the tiniest of leads, but uh, it's too direct. So let's see what happens. Uh, the habitat for this penguin species is the southern Pacific and Antarctic oceans. It is also known as the stone tracker penguin due to its loud, harsh call. What species of penguin is this, named after a distinctive feature visible in its profile view? Chinstrap. Very nice. This is a chinstrap penguin. And your second direct. Adelie Land is the French territorial claim on Antarctica in the sector between 136 degrees east and 142 degrees east. The coast of this area was discovered by French explorer Jules Dumont d'Urville uh, in 1840, and a French research station of the same name has been located here since 1956. The Dumont d'Urville station came into popular consciousness as the location for the filming of what in 2005? March of the Penguins. It's nice. This is March of the Penguins. Okay, that puts you at thirteen. These guys are unlikely to catch up, but Pranjal still can. Question for Nayan. Uh, Blank is the first literature Nobel laureate from Tanzania who won the twenty twenty one award for his uncompromising and compassionate penetration of the effects of colonialism and the fates of the refugee in the gulf between cultures and continents. 
born in 1948 in the then Sultanate of Zanzibar. Who is this writer of Arab heritage? Pass, I don't know. Pass is quickly to Shasha. Abdul Raja Gurna. Very nicely done. This is whatever you just said. Who is he? I also know him for winning the Nobel. Yeah, I think. <laughs> he won the Nobel Prize last year. I think that's. Oh, what okay, okay, okay. Nice. Well remembered, my friend. Okay, question for Ian again. At an uh, at an overall tally of two hundred and sixteen wickets, which player from Zimbabwe has the most wickets in Test cricket? He has had frequent conflicts with the cricket board in his country over pay, and was handed an eight-year ban on coaching and other cricket activities by the ICC in twenty twenty one on charges of corruption. And Andy Flower, not Andy Flower, Shashwan. It's streak. It's streak, is it? Okay, and last two. Uh, these are for Shashwat, and Pranjal does have a bit of a lead over Akshay on bonus attempts. Oh, but uh, can't happen now. Cool. Question for Shashwat. Uh, one of the most inaccessible parts of the world, even by Antarctic standards, Mary Bird Land, uh, has an area of one point six million square kilometers and stretches between one hundred and fifty eight degrees west and one hundred and three degrees west. It was named after the wife of American naval officer Richard E. Bird, who explored the region in the early twentieth century. In terms of claims made by different countries on Antarctic regions, what is unique about Marie Birdland? Uh, it's not claimed by anyone. It's correct. This is not unclaimed. claimed by anyone. It is uh, the largest unclaimed I, land territory. I think this is the quote made by Vikas in the set because uh, this question was there in the last one. Yeah. Right. That's why. That's why. It, yeah. It, it seems familiar. <laughs> familiar. No. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay. They've just reused what they used in the previous quiz. Okay. Shit. I think only this question. No. Rajat said uh, because made one very nice quote, so yeah. this should be the one. But they they also know people came to watch that one. What love? <laughs> okay. Uh, last question of the quiz, and uh, this as is tradition, this last question is worth eight points. Question for Shashu. Which African diaspora religion uh, took birth in Brazil in the nineteenth century? Drawing from elements of Yoruba and Roman Catholicism, the practice involves the veneration of spirits known as Odixas, and that each practicing member is believed to have a connection to. Voodoo. It's not voodoo. Thank you. Pass. Pass is Dorsha. Hikka. It's not that. Then. No, you pass. Passes. Good pass. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I started off with more rounds. Okay. Started off with more rounds. Uh, let me just. Ta. Good. And uh, the answer was uh, this thing. Candomblé. Candomblé. Okay. Cool. That ends our quiz. Uh, Akshay wins at thirteen points. Pranjal is at second at ten points. Nayan is third at seven points, and Shashwat is at fourth with five points. Yeah, really good set, yeah, yeah, nice set. Okay. Thanks, folks. See you next time. Bye, all. Bye. Bye. Good game. He stopped immediately after that. Wait, I should. Uh...